The Delphi method is a technique developed in the 1950s by the RAND Corporation, originally used to forecast future technological trends. It involves structured group communication among experts, aiming for a consensus in predicting and evaluating future events. The method has since been widely adapted across various fields to aid in decision-making. The eight key characteristics of the Delphi method are 1. Panel or expert group. The method extensively utilizes the knowledge and experience of experts. These experts often come from diverse fields, adding to the variety of perspectives. 2. Anonymity. Participants contribute anonymously, reducing the effects of group dynamics and social pressure and promoting open and honest feedback. 3. Iterativity. The method typically includes two or more rounds, where experts can review and update their previous estimates in light of new information. This allows for deeper understanding and the development of consensus. 4. Facilitated feedback. After each round, experts are provided with information and a summary of the group's responses, helping them to consider their own views in relation to others' opinions. 5. Quantitative and qualitative analysis. Responses are often analyzed using statistical methods, such as averages and variances, to get a clear picture of the group's views. However, the qualitative assessments and arguments of the experts are usually the most valuable contributions. 6. Future orientation. The Delphi method is commonly used for anticipating and assessing future phenomena, trends, and scenarios. 7. Multidisciplinary and broad application. Delphi is flexible and suitable for various fields, including technology, healthcare, education, and environmental policy. 8. Decision making. Support. The method provides valuable information to decision makers, helping them understand complex issues and potential future trends. Delphi is a unique combination of expert knowledge, group process management, and future-oriented analysis, making it an effective tool for understanding and predicting complex phenomena. The method is eclectic, which expands its applications. The most well-known method variations are 1. Traditional Delphi, which aims for consensus among experts through iterative survey rounds. 2. Real-time Delphi, enabling a rapid feedback and updating process within a single survey round. Questions and answers are available and can be responded to in real-time by the panelists throughout the process. 3. Policy Delphi, focusing on societal topics and phenomena with the aim of assisting and advancing sustainable decision-making. 4. Argumentative Delphi, centered on the differing views and arguments of experts through which it is possible to script and map multiple futures. This variation allows and supports dissent instead of consensus. 5. Electronic Delphi, which utilizes digital platforms for conducting surveys, facilitation, and analysis. Examples of such platforms include eDelphi, www.edelphi.org, and xDelphi, www.xdelphi.ai, the latter being used as the platform in this case. As digitalization progresses and artificial intelligence as well as data analytics evolve, the application and implementation of the Delphi method will change. Advanced analytics tools and platforms, such as xDelphi, can enhance data collection, analysis, and visualization of results. Particularly, the development of artificial intelligence is anticipated to revolutionize and enhance the method in all its process stages. The impact of AI on the future of the method is also a topic for the expert panel in the case study. Other factors will also influence how the method develops over the next 10 to 20 years. Global challenges and multicultural environments already require a broad range of expertise. The Delphi method's ability to gather and utilize multidisciplinary expertise is becoming increasingly important in this developmental direction. More complex societal, economic, and environmental issues demand more precise and in-depth analyses where the Delphi method can be a valuable tool. Collaboration between various actors, such as academic institutions, governments, and the private sector, 
may promote the development and application of the Delphi method. Data protection and ethical aspects, especially regarding the anonymity of experts and the reliability of information, are important factors for the future of the method. In this regard, generic language model AI may offer unforeseen benefits. The future of Delphi is being explored in the ex-Delphi panel with the assistance of ChatGPT bots. The artificial intelligence assistants have been developed to assist in the planning, implementation, facilitation, analysis, and reporting of the Delphi process. Pictured is the ex-Delphi bot, which is designed to assist in modeling the phenomenon and constructing surveys. The bot is openly available and accessible to users. In the use of AI, we emphasize the facilitator's active and independent approach. It is important to engage and test the bot to ensure that a rich and balanced picture of the phenomenon is formed. In this exercise, none of the bot modeling has been accepted as is. Rather, both surveys of the panel have been modified and finalized by non-AI means.